Hey, good evening, guys. Kenneth Tortoise Capital, nightly strategy podcast for uh, July 31st, 2023. Stand by. Well, it's good to be back. Uh, I have felt better, but the alternative is much worse, so I'm happy to happy to be here. Um, Wednesday I go to the Kansas University Med Center cardiology guys for the consultation to arrange um, uh, valve replacement surgery probably in four to six weeks. Um, All the tests came back uh, saying basically it had a mild heart attack, no damage to the heart, heart function was excellent, heart muscle is very strong Um, There was no blockage when they did the catheter. Uh, So this was probably just an, this is an onset of probably lack of oxygenation uh, from the leaky valve and, you know, combination of heat and dehydration, not enough sleep, and uh, playing soccer with children for two hours in the Kansas heat probably brought it on. I did notice that I'd been having shortness of breath over the last couple months walking into work and so this uh, there were some warning signs there earlier Um, and the shortness of breath meant I wasn't quite as active and so I was I put on a little bit of weight so I've lost 20 pounds since that event in preparation for um, uh, surgery I'll probably uh, intend to lose another 20 over the next couple weeks and um, we'll take it We'll take it based on uh, the doc's good orders. Um, Just reinforce many lessons for me. Uh, Never leave anything unsaid. Don't worry about trivia. In fact, don't worry about anything. Just do your best on the most important thing and uh, offer it all up. And uh, the world will figure out what to do with it. A lot of uh, the outpouring of uh, love and support was very helpful. Uh, Very much appreciated. And um, that almost goes without saying, except I'll say it. So thanks very much. Meanwhile, uh, we're going to get back to work and see what we got here. Uh, We'll start with the 30-minute hybrid swing, starting with Alcoa. Uh, Those of you that did not get a chance to listen to the PRX system briefing from VTI by uh, Bill Scheidt and Jeff Picasso uh, missed a good one. Um, they got a workshop coming up, but I encourage you to check it out. The rule sets at their briefing look unsurprisingly very much like the um, 30 minute hybrid that you're seeing here. A little more systematic on their side, more rules based, with some back testing and some tools that help you find and manage trades. Uh, but they're discovering, as I have, that this is a very fractal framework and applies to a lot of different markets and I thought they did just a great job articulating in a systematic way uh, the advantages of the system so I'll leave it leave you to uh, investigate their stuff all right so uh, there is a whole window of time in here where uh, this is the day let's see this is uh, Monday Uh, so this was Friday Thursday Wednesday Tuesday Monday. This was the day of the event. And I mostly had um, just uh, stop losses and trailing stops on during this period. I started back into it, you know, wanted to be restful. I found trading restful. So mostly uh, Friday and Monday were me being back to normal. Uh, So you won't see me trying to get any of these things. Uh, But yes, uh, Monday... I'm sorry, uh, Friday was sort of a normal day back. And I'll, I'm going to brief basically two days uh, worth of worth of work. So uh, coming back, Alcoa, Kata 2, has closed really well. We're holding about four. Happy about that. The stop loss did what it was supposed to do. Uh, I'll just observe. Um, this was, uh, let's see, AI started the Kata 2 here, two-day holding. That one's good. Uh, my son put this one on for me. 
he's been watching AI for me. Slowly trying to wean him into the business here. Uh, Caterpillar, Kata 2, holding 3R. Cliff Natural Resources, no trade. There was a gap up and no follow through. Uh, CVS got a uh, Z3P starting to develop here. Got a really nice uh, compression happening here. And I'm liking that little possibility of a breakout in either direction. Uh, there's a strong move developing in both ways. Uh, dish, the gap up and then a continuation. So uh, I was not all that aggressive on uh, Friday. Uh, gap up, I waited to see it hold and start to take off again. Uh, then bought it in the usual way it held. Today it held pretty well. Uh, I'm going to have a stop right about here to lock in 1R. And if it continues above the daily high, I'd be interested in adding a position. Devon Energy caught a 2 yesterday. Electronic Arts uh, short this morning on the... Uh, oh, that's a pocket entry. So just as a point of illustration, you've got two lower highs almost three lower highs then you have a gap down you have the collapsing dragon demarcation line right here so when this gaps down and it's below the level of the dragon and it breaks the PSAR that's really a uh, supported fall crossing to the downside uh, and this is in the pocket right here Waiting for confirmation would get you a CD right here. Uh, as it was, I took plus four and was happy just to call it a day. Because that exceeded my expectations. Um, this was one of those that got away. Uh, there was, um, on Friday, there was a gap up. I wasn't feeling it. It closed well, and now it has just stabilized into this sideways compression. I'm ready to play it in either direction, but no overnight risk on it. Uh, this is one where the trailing stop really helped me, I thought, and then it hurt me because I missed the gap. So I'll take that one. The trailing stop gave us 5R as a cushion, uh, so I'm pretty happy with that all altogether. I just, while I'm thinking about it, I just got to show you. On the, the S&P, this was the, uh, <laughs> this was the day of the event. So that's quite a bit of, you know, market responding to my crisis, maybe. A lot of, uh, a lot of emergency action in there. I appreciate the market acting in sympathy. I mean, it's doing its best to help. Uh, let's see, I think, let's see, uh, ETHE, no trade. I'm liking ETHE. Let me show you something on the nine day really quick. Uh, I consider that to be pretty favorable. The red box is the 150 day look back as it stands on, uh, if it were on daily charts. And then the black box is the 30 day. So this has moved to the top of the 150 day look back. And generally, I believe, has left behind uh, all of that troublesomeness. And it had just turned into the, into the summer. And the PSAR is holding, so I kind of like ETHE for the long, long, long haul uh, on, on that one. But no trade on the tactical. Um, e, EWW Mexico, the stop loss worked. I re-entered on Friday, closed it out today. Uh, for a scratch. Brazil uh, started the long on Friday, lucked into a gap up and finished strong, so it's holding 2R. Um, Intel uh, scratched it today, missed the long slide, which was good. IP, this is the trade of the, of the quarter. I mean, we've been monkeying around with this thing for a while, so until... Until recently, I mean, this has been, let me just get out of this for now. 
this has been a regular uh, a regular trader with lots of volatility and then this happened so just one more trade in a series of usual trades uh, this was nothing more than a kata two and two days it really closed well then had a huge move now this was the day of the event so I missed all that which is good um, and then it took off a second day in a row with a great big gap and then the last two days has just been extraordinary I was able to get one in here just because and this has all the signs of more kata two and when you consider the size of the initial position based off of the normal risk, uh, suddenly this thing is off the chart with goodness. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 4. That's plus 18. Uh, well, I've been flat on my back and still looking good, and I'm ready to add more tomorrow. So... International Paper, the last stock that you might pick out of a lineup to, uh, to do that. Um, real Estate, got the short covered today for about 4R, liked it. Uh, regional Banks, no trade, but it's uh, compressing nicely. So what you got is sort of like a triangle coming in here. And uh, in this, so this is setting up a nice zero state breakout in either direction. You have to be short, not later than here. You have to be long, not later than here. Although there's a couple intermediate spots where you could try it again. Uh, Mattel, no trade, just missed that. Missed that short um, because of the incident. Um, McDonald's missed the long and the sh missed the short, the long and the short. I mean, chimney crickets. Look at the you know a guy goes away for a couple days, and um, there's one, two, three great big moves, any one of which was clearly tradable. From the collapsing dragon to the SSC to a collapsing dragon twice, three times. So just on that basis, I'm taking the SSC with the standard risk. And it closed really well. And then the last half hour was a great big move up. So I feel like I stumbled into a good one. And it's a spring move that's just getting ready to start. And I have every reason to believe it can get to here and to here. Uh, just based on history. So I like McDonald's um, in this location. Uh, Merck uh, setting up an SSC and a sideways quiet channel. Merck, uh, the long scratch, the Kata 2 entry closed well. Uh, Microsoft, uh, this is one, it was like 6 to 1. This is 6 to 1 back to a test of the 10-day high uh, which you'll see on the daily report right so I mean you have to buy that so this is the 10-day high up here and then today's range is a fraction and it's a kata 2 and the standard risk box is small so just on the basis of the daily risk five six that's a six to one and then there's a three to one here and you know off this one there's a three to one to this using my risk box so this could end up being a very nice compound trade with a couple clear intermediate checkpoints and then also the fail trade is compelling if it breaks below um, call it 330 so that is a uh, a clear um, critical state. Uh, marijuana, just the SSC in the usual way, and just quietly uh, never failed. And then it gapped up and started to go, so I added a second one because it was well over 
all three of these resistance levels. So that was like an emerging dragon entry. Even if you don't take that one, I think you got to take this. And then it closed well all day. And this is another one of those quiet ones, five, six, seven, that's at about 11 R. Um, to, uh, you know, not everything is large cap. Sometimes you get specialties that are worth a crap. Uh, NVIDIA, I just uh, I couldn't find a way to get in today. I like the sideways quiet channel that's working. PBW, much like marijuana, this is an example of a specialty ETF, narrowly traded yet compelling macro story. And this is about 5R and looking good on the long side. Rivian started the COD at 2. Um, Tesla, I, yesterday I initiated the uh, SSC. Uh, U.S. Steel, yesterday initiated the SSC. I took the Dragon exit just to raise a little cash at <clears throat> plus 4R. So good to be back in the saddle with all that stuff. Um, let's try to find the... Um, SSC here. Yeah. This is just routine uh, Alcoa. Uh, you have to be able to believe in Alcoa uh, for any robust system. Here's the, uh, it was a close, gap up, establishes the OR3, breaks out, standard risk. Uh, I gave it the RLXD exit instead of the uh, Dragon exit for about 1R. Took the Kata 2 entry at the PSAR flip. And, you know, there were two support levels, and now it broke above. So I consider that an emerging Dragon and a very relaxed entry. And it's really somewhere up around the 2R battle drill. So, I mean, you just have to get that. And then logical exit for a total of 6R for the day. Routine. Do routine things routinely. All right, let's look at the traders. All right, so this is Brian um, learning the ropes on the 4x he's doing the kiwi on the fives clear cotta two starting the new day you can get this right here that's still pretty good that's almost like a compound cotta two standard risk gets paid 0.8 when that's point 0.8, I want you to recognize what that would have been with standard risk. And even the, uh, the secondary entry here at Akata 2. All right, red gets the... Um, Uh, soybeans on the threes, Z3 pinch. We could technically get long in here. He gets this one, adds a second position at the 2R battle drill, takes the quick cut. Uh, he was at plus two here, ends up at 1.2. And that's the, that's the risk of the 2R battle drill. You got to remember that this loss is on two positions, so although that looks manageable, you just got to realize how important that is to cut that. Because even though it's only a 0.4 sell-off, that times 2 is going to be equal to 0.8. But remember, you had 2R in hand, so if you're going to give it a second shot, you know, you're risking 2R. But if it goes in your favor, like if this had been the entry, which was a COTA 2 potential, then that would have been massively good. But that's a pretty good-looking chart. Uh, 
uh, the peso on the threes. Perfectly played caches. There was a second entry here. He gets this one. This sh should have been approximately a scratch. Micro loss uh, brings in 0 0.9. There was another short here, which would have paid off huge. Even if you don't get that one, this Z3 pinch breakdown here gets paid. Still 0.9 will get paid there. We like that. Uh, this is another shot on the peso. It's later in the day. Gets paid. Stays out of the chop. Um, this one, I really kind of like that. That's um, He's inside the channel and is just playing to get back to the bottom of the channel. And he gets that for 0.8. So he gets about 2.2 .2 on that series. That's a case where the channel was volatile enough that you can get paid. All right, here's Damien. Uh, a little, maybe a little late on the Kata 2 entry. Should be about here. Still, good stop and reverse gets paid. This was an error, was distracted on the phone. So instead of getting long, he got short and accidental into a... Um, minus 2.75 when that should have been plus 2.75 um, so this should have been uh, a that's really a 5.5 error because it's 2.75 in each direction right? but still that's a pretty nice 3r play right there now greg is working on a number of different rules. I'm not going to critique the rules other than just to say if I'm trading this in the normal way I'm going to ask you to compare uh, just a moment there we go. The blue boxes show where I believe the standard normal uh, trades would be. Is that you get a harsh down. Um, I think that's a kata too because the PSAR had already flipped. It held at the PSAR and has taken off with a wrist box off the low. So I think you get that and then cut it here because this is supposed to work right away. And then you could elect to short that or get short here. And either way, that when that doesn't fail, this should be the exit. This is the PSAR flip, and that's the Dragon exit. This is a um, SSC or SFC short, Dragon exit, continuation trade, short, SSC fails, Low, new low of the day, collapsing dragon. So uh, take a screenshot of that one. Compare it to uh, the uh, entries you're making and see what you think. Um, all right, that's everything I got for today. Um, I've, the uh, daily report is posted, and we'll get this published and processed and, um, and uh, posted here shortly, and then I'll catch you tomorrow. Take good care, guys, and uh, we'll see you.